A crease, okay? A crease! Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, to your girl Dana Alexia. Today's video is a vlog ready with me. This is a lip that I did for my girls all white birthday party um, event. I just want to throw it out there that um, it was within the amount of limit of people and this was also before we just went. Canada is a mess, okay? Let me just say that. If you're from here, you already know what the hell's going on. We just went back into lockdown last week or a couple days ago. But when I went to this birthday party, we finally moved out of, I don't know what zone it is because I feel like it, it's just ongoing thing. I just know that we were no longer on like lockdown, lockdown. We were allowed to do things, stores were back open, you could have events just with a certain amount of people. We're currently in lockdown. Again, after being out of lockdown for what, two weeks? I don't know what's going on. But anyways, obviously we're gonna be doing hair, makeup, and outfit. So yeah, if you care to see this look, then uh, just keep watching. Woo. Okay, you guys, so we are about to get cute because I've had this bonnet on for two days. <laughs> and I'm over it. I've been getting so many questions about this hair. Y'all are feeling the highlights. I am too. I love it. Um, this hair is from Beauty Forever. It is a lace wig. Let me just pull up the details. So it's a 13 by 4 transparent. It's not transparent, okay? It's not transparent, it's light brown lace. But it's 13 by 4 um, pre plucked lace frontal. It's body wave, it's 150 density. Um, so as you guys can see, okay, it has been bleached and, well, not colored, no, toned, yeah. It's been bleached and toned by my hairstylist, Mariah. Let me comb my hair in your brush. Two days, okay? It's been two days. Um, I did wash the hair, as you guys can see, because. It was getting very like weighed down and oily. It was just it was just definitely about that time to you know wash it and stuff. And it actually still has the nice body wave pattern. I didn't even re remember that I had body wave hair, and especially because it was colored, I wasn't really expect. I don't really care, you know. But I washed it and like when I was letting it air dry, I was like, oh, wow, like it was giving some very nice deep waves. As you guys can see, it's dried and brushed out now but it has a very nice um loose wave pattern even after being bleached it's actually basically exactly how i wanted it and i wanted to keep dark roots because you guys know i haven't done highlights in so long so i just wasn't ready to commit to like you know like blonde straight from the root i wanted some natural you know in there i got my hot comb on because we're about to i mean let's actually address the obvious so my lace needs to be laid all the way down oh so my lace hasn't been laid down or glued or nothing i haven't gone anywhere except for my mom's house but i actually haven't applied any glue or hairspray or anything um in t in three days i washed the hair and just let it air dry and just left the lace because i had nowhere to go and this is like it's still it's, it's not moving my lace it don't move it don't move <laughs> uh joking but um yeah so let's go ahead and start hot combing because she needs a good i've been itching my scalp so much i think my lace kind of balded a little bit
All right, so I'm just gonna pin this back and I'm going to be using some lace glue. I normally don't, I usually just use this got to be insta hold hairspray, which is actually really good by the way. I don't remember who put me onto this, but I've just been seeing most of the people that I watch on YouTube when they apply their wigs, if they're not using glue, they use this hairspray. It's like the new thing. It is really good by the way, but I want to. I mean, I don't really need much anyway, so I do just want this to be nice and secure. Um, considering we got a fresh lace and everything, I want it to stay down for as long as it can. And I also might be... No, I am. I might be going out tonight just uh, to a little date or whatever. So I just want it to be... I just want my shit to be into October, period. <laughs> I want to know what you're eating. Not hair. No, we're not doing this. Let me put this girl in her place then. I have both Ghost Bond and Bold Hold. I personally like Bold Hold better. Yeah, honestly, I'm really considering, what is it, derma planning? Cause like, my sideburns, pretty crazy. <laughs> For this look that I did, my hair was curled very, very nicely. I have not been able to achieve the exact curl and like style, just the way everything laid, the way Mariah did it, um, and on this night. And I still have yet to straighten this hair, so I'm kind of considering doing straight hair for the picture. So I might think about it. This hair is really long, by the way. I, don't, I didn't say that, but it's really long. I think it's like 26 inches. Is hella long. Okay, I'm gonna apply. Ignore trying her toy. I'm gonna apply two layers. Okay, so the wig is on secure lace is laid down i'm gonna pin all the hair so i'm just gonna take my mvp lab um i don't know what you call this like headband i use this every day like when i go to sleep i just love it
All right, you guys, so my hair is done. She's looking good. She's flat, flat. Only thing I will say is like the part, it's kind of bothering me. I tried to fix it. I also like tweezed a little bit right here, but I'm just gonna leave it before I fuck it up because let's just, you know, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, went in with the Lotta Body Foaming Mousse and this side is serving. So I actually had to like bring a little bit out here because the edges are higher there. But yeah, I think she looks really good. Hair is bomb. She is long. Okay. Inches, honey. Inches. Like, it's the inches for me. So I'm finally going to go ahead and get into this makeup. I think I'm going to keep my hair straight just because I don't have any pictures with my hair straight either. So, we going to do that. I'm going to start with priming. So I'm going to use my favorite primer at the moment or one of my favorite most favorite primers this is the fenty beauty soft matte primer no it's true matte sorry <laughs> uh the true matte pro filter primer i have been loving a matte face for a while actually and especially because it's getting warmer and my skin is like i don't know i get so oily now it's like it's crazy i don't know i just love matte on me it just has the face sitting like when your face is matte it just sits in pictures it just it hits different it hits different okay okay there we go okay it's kind of on my forehead it's a little too far down on my forehead that's probably what it is it's giving very wig but it's too late so <laughs> we're just gonna rock with it I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. You guys have been wanting like an updated brow tutorial, so I definitely need to do an updated, like just an everyday foundation routine and brow routine. Even though I've been using the same brow pencil for like over a year. Has it been a year since they came out with it? I think so. I use the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and I'm using black brown. I'm gonna go in with some foundation. We're gonna have to use Too Faced, which I've been using anyways. This is the Born This Way foundation in caramel. This is my like spring, sorry, spring, winter spring color. And just apply that. My brush is kind of dirty and I should not. So we're gonna go in with the sponge today. to cream contour i'm using the makeup forever concealer in 5.4 this is their matte velvet skin concealer i could have applied a little bit more foundation but i think we're good i don't want to overdo it i should though i'm just gonna go in with a little more here and there for these photos Especially because I'm going to be using flash. The first concealer I'm going to go in is with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in 4.3. I don't know why I love using two concealers when... I want to be snatched it's very unnecessary but yeah <laughs> i'm just extra and then next i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty pro filter concealer in 330 
I think I said this in my last full get ready with me, but before I go in with setting powder, I go in with um, like a finishing powder, a foundation. This is my ride or die. This is the first, uh, look. Hmm. What? This is my ride or die product. I use the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Finishing Powder or just Micro Smooth Powder. Oh, this stuff will have your face just flawless, okay? Flawless. I've been using this for years, but yeah, doing this right before applying setting powder is like my must have um, stuff in my makeup routine now. I know this isn't like an everyday thing, but I do this regardless. Full glam, natural glam, every day. Just whenever I'm doing my makeup, I like have to do this. It makes such a difference. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in, it, go in with a setting powder. Um, I haven't used the Huda one in a while. So we're gonna use Huda today. I'm using the Easy Bake setting powder in Blondie. If you're not new here, you know this is my ish i've been using the cover fx one as of lately it's translucent but i don't know i just want to use this today okay that's a lot just to spread that out not like using this let me see i don't know why they're probably all gonna look the same but let me see what Marc Jacobs is saying today. Oh my god, there's frontal glue. You know what? We won't see it after. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Bronze in Tantalize. Y'all, look how much product is in here. It's huge. It's huge. Oh my god, I've been doing my I did my makeup so fast today. I'm basically like almost done. I just gotta do my eyes. Alright, so I'm gonna apply some concealer to the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go figure out what eyeshadow palette we're using today. Let me just dust this off <laughs> right there. Lately. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow number one palette and apply coming whoops i'm so clumsy i'm gonna apply <laughs> come and get it i'm gonna take the number nine and go in with sherry fairy but i'm gonna keep this just on the super outer corner i'm gonna take ginger from the abh and jackie Arna palette i don't know why i didn't use this before this is the perfect shade okay a crease okay a crease this is the fenty beauty all over metallic powder in ice cream oh yeah this is pretty and y'all know I don't even do sh I don't even like shimmer but this is so pretty oh this one went on with ease I'm gonna go in with some setting spray this is the best setting spray if you, if you didn't know Morphe continuous setting spray will have your face looking like butter period I haven't used this highlight in a while, you guys. This is the uh, Fenty Beauty Fairy Bomb Shimmer. Y'all remember this? In a 24K Ray. This is like the perfect golden highlight. And yo, this product will literally, I don't think I'm ever, not ever, but I'm not going to need to buy a new one for a while because I'm literally dipping it in the cap. And I already like, see, that's too much. <laughs> That is too much, but it's just like 
I love loose powder highlights for this reason because you save so much product and you got so much for your money. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil Eyeliner. Eyeliner. I don't know why I said eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with Come and Get It. Again, that first shade I used on my crease and just apply some of that to my bottom lash line. Yeah. And for mascara, I'm just gonna apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm feeling this look. Well, for my lip today, I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in Cognac. No chat, I can't pick you up right now. Whoop. After. <coughs> Let's drink some water. Alright, so for my lipstick, I'm going to use Honey from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is such a nice nude. I haven't used her in a while. These pigs better come on fire. Because this face is sitting right now. Okay, we're just going to blend that out. I'm going to grab my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Chai, what are you eating? You're always chomping on something and there's nothing in here to be eating. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, you have good ears, eh? Why is my building vacuuming the hallways now? It's so late. They usually do this in the morning. Oh, this eye makeup is popping, though. She's cute. Cute. Honestly, I'm just hoping that I don't take these pictures and then end up wishing that I had curled my hair. Oh, sorry. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I need to oil my scalp. A sap, like yesterday. Woo! And the more it itches, the more it itches. Oh my god. Mm, okay, I have no manners. Let me not do this all up on camera. I go like crazy right now. Okay. So what I do after my face is done, I like to, I don't know, I've been so into powders now. So I love just like touching up my under eyes for that like airbrush. I just love when people's under eyes are like really nice and bright. So I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. This is in light medium too. So basically, I just go in and touch up my under eyes actually i want to use a different brush i just touch up my under eyes it just gives me a nice like airbrush look and it's a super like natural finished powder so it's perfect yes that looks real good that looks so good mm. okay baby girl the category is face yes ma'am wait We're gonna go in once more with our setting powder just to, you know, make sure everything's all, all good. And then, let me grab my perfume since it's right there. So when I did this look and I was on live, y'all gave me, I don't remember what we chose cause y'all helped me. I think I did this. I think I did black opium in Carolina. She's tired of me. So I actually have YSL Mont Paris. Um, I got it as a gift for Christmas. This smells really good because I rolled it on my hand earlier today. I don't know why I haven't been wearing her. Yeah, we're gonna use this today because I show her no love, y'all. And I also need to find if I can find the pump em juice or the pussy oil um, that I get at the Rasta shop downtown. 
um, on Kensington because y'all have been really wanted it. And I actually, I don't, I can't tell you what it smells like. I can't, I don't know. But you smell like a soft, sweet, it's sweet, it's soft, but it's like so sexy. It's actually, it's like an edible scent. Like you smell that and you just like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. And then I kind of want to, I've been mixing fragrances. It's just my thing. So with this, I kind of want to add in some sweetness to it. I love YSL Black. I love the Black Opium because it's sweet, but it's like not like too, too sweet because I love me some warm florals. Yeah, this smells really good. We're going to go ahead and um, change. And I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So let go. Hey right, guys, here is my outfit this corset is from white fox boutique and then my pants are from forever 21 and then my heels are from aqua zero i love these shoes and then i just paired it with my louis vuitton spring street handbag super cute i love the touch of white i mean that's the only reason why i paired it with this and it's the only bag i have that has white in it, so thank God for her. Thank God I got this. <laughs> if anybody needs any all white affair, um, outfit inspo. Cannot go wrong with an all white corset and dress pants, okay? I'm loving this. My watch is from JBW Watches. This is their Crystal 28 watch. I actually have a discount code, so you can save $20 when purchasing a watch. It's Dana JBW, and I'll have it down below as well. Also, if anybody's wondering about my earrings, they're from Topshop. Honestly, I love what corsets do for the girls. They're just sitting. <laughs> but um, anyways, you guys, this is the finished look for this. Well, get ready with me. I hope you guys like how the look turned out. I'm feeling it. I actually think it looks better this time than when I went out. I don't know if it's the straight hair or what, but I'm really feeling it. So I'm excited to go take some pictures. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.